Hey, what's going on you guys? In today's video I'm gonna show you how to repair a chip on your windshield. Have you ever been driving on the road, highway, and then boom, all of a sudden you got this rock flying and made the chip? Well, this is exactly what happened to me. And uh, there is a way to repair this. Not permanently, but you can uh, repair in order to prevent any further cracks. And the car I'm working on today is uh, 2013 BMW X5 and many of you know the windshield on this car is just skyrocket high expensive. And here's a uh, kit I'm gonna be using today. It's by Permatex. You can pick this up from any auto parts store. So what I did here, I uh, taped up the little box, it will make it easier for you to work on. Next, what you want to do is clean the area where the chip and the actual chip with alcohol pad or just alcohol wipes. Next, you want to grab this uh, double-sided uh, tape that came with the kit. And you want to stick it onto your windshield. Make sure the crack is centered. Next, you want to take this plastic pedestal and then also apply on top of the double adhesive tape that came. You want to peel the other uh, layer of the tape. Now you have the sticky side up and then you want to press it in nicely and tidy. Make sure there's no air coming out. And the way to tell is it's in a further process when we go, go in to insert the, the syringe. Alright, that looks good. Next, you want to take this resin and cut it open with a blade or scissors, whichever you have. And then what you want to do is insert about five to six maybe seven drops of the resin inside the pedestal. Yep, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh, there. Next, you want to take the syringe, make sure it's closed all the way down, and then you want it nicely and slowly insert it, make sure it's tight. And then what you want to do is, you want to hold with the other hand on the pedestal and hold the syringe and then with the other hand pull pull up on the syringe you're gonna feel some resistance that means it's working and then you want to lock it up with the with the pin that on top of the syringe so what does do we create a vacuum and it will suck all the bubbles and air another tip you want to go from the inside of the car and do little knocks like just like you can see here this will help to escape all the bubbles or any extra air in the cracks. All right, that looks good. Another tip, you guys, you want to do this uh, outside where the temperature is at least 40 degrees, and you want to do in a direct light that will help too, also. So it's been you want to leave it. 20 minutes to do or a half an hour it's been about 20 minutes here which what I did is you want to pull the the syringe out let all the air out and now you want to insert it back make sure before you insert that the, it's the syringe is open all the way up then you want to insert the back and then uh, start pressing slowly down and again lock it at the at the whichever notch you can there's two notches and lock it with the with the ring on the syringe so what we did here is we are now uh, create the pressure for the resin to go inside the cracks and the windshields and this will fill all the cracks and cracks and they will become invisible so again you want to leave it for about 20 minutes to a half an hour all right, guys, it's been about 25 minutes here. Uh, so what you want to do now, come up and uh, hold with one hand down on the pedestal. And then uh, with the other hand, you want to pull out the syringe from the pedestal there. All right, that looks good. 
Now you want to slowly start removing the pedestal. You can use your finger, you can use a blade, knife. Just take it easy with the blade. Don't cut yourself and don't scra scratch the windshield. Alright, this one is out. Next, you want to peel the adhesive tape. Uh, another tip, you might see a little resin that will drip down. It's okay if you see that, you can take micro towel and wipe it down slow, uh, nicely. And, uh, you know, make it look nice. Don't make a mess on the windshield. It's okay that it did not dry out yet. There is one more process to this that we're gonna leave and it will dry out completely. So you wanna peel all the adhesive tape. Take your time, don't rush. All right, there, everything's off now. Next, you're gonna see this two by two inches, uh, uh, like a clear plastic uh, a little square uh, film that came with the kit. And uh, well, also guys, I know it's probably tempting you trying to think maybe you should scrape it off and make it nice and even again. Don't touch the windshield. Take your film and add another one to two drops on top of the film on the center and then apply it back to the to your crack on the windshield. Nice and slowly. And then you want to squeeze it, squeeze all the resin out a little bit. So uh, the, the, the square will stick to the glass and then you want to leave it for another 25 minutes. Alright guys, it's been about 25 minutes here. I peeled the, the, the film out, I cleaned everything with the blade. Uh, and then you want to use uh, alcohol pad and uh, clean everything off the windshield, any extra mess that you made. And boom, look at this, what a difference. Those three little dots, those are not cracks anymore. I left some residue on. I'm gonna clean it off after the video here. But wow, look at the difference. Definitely thumbs up to the prod product. Um, this will prevent any further cracks. Uh, please thumbs up to this video, hope you like it. Hope this will help you a little bit on how to repair your windshield. All right, until the next one.